You know, this weekend we can finally really kind of get into the Halloween spirit, kind of enjoy some great outdoor events. Mrs. Grant from 94.9 Mix FM has several events that are like that uh, coming up this weekend. I think we were all like, it's October now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hurry up and do all the stuff we want to do. Everybody's been dying for this literally yes. at nightfall. They have all the dead, scary people. <laughs> You're all literally. I was watching it this morning on uh, GMT and I was like, oh my gosh. Yes. I'm not a person who's into being frightened. Oh, you're not? No, 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 not at all. Don't like it. Like if I were on the Ellen show, I would flip out when somebody <laughs> jumped out of that thing. And I would say things you're not allowed to say on TV. Lots of bleep, bleep. And yeah. there's probably a lot of that going on in old Tucson during nightfall. 27 years they've been doing this. Live shows, disturbing haunts, fun attractions. They're doing it tonight and tomorrow night. Tonight's basically the first night that it opens. Tickets are $28 for adults. Kids who are nine to 11 years old, they're $21, and if you're eight and under, well, you get scared for free at you Old Kids Done. For during free. During Nightfall, woo! <laughs> they go all out. They do. Uh, I was watching those girls get scared today. Sam and Alexa, I yes. know. Yes, and I thought to myself, yep, glad it's not me. I, you're like, did you pull the, the short stick of who gets to go out there and get yes. scared on television? Exactly. Uh, well, that's not the only scary no. thing going on this weekend. And this one scares me. The slaughterhouse scares me because, well, when I was growing up here in Tucson, that's the meat packing process right. place. So it's like I picture people in there with very sharp, ugly, oh terrible gosh. things like you're seeing right there. So five bone chilling attractions, including the boiler room, Cirque du Soleil, Slay as in slay, City Meets, <laughs> The Apocalypse, and Voodoo Bayou. And again, so tonight they're doing this from 7 to 10. Tomorrow night, 7 to 11. It's on Grant Road and scary. Tickets start at $23. I bet people that know you don't like to be scared go out of their way to try to scare you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when it was released, I found many red balloons throughout the building. I, say, I kept running into those red balloons that I think were meant for you, but they I kept were. running into them. Yes, at uh, 4 30 in the morning, that's yeah. a great thing to come into and it's dark in the building. Yeah, and you're standing in the stairway and you're going, is anybody else seeing this? Is yeah. it just me in here? Exactly. Yeah. And Greg was supposed to protect me and he didn't do it. Poor Mrs. G. Let's move on to something fun. I was gonna say, yesterday was National Drink a Beer Day. Did you know that? No. Yes. So I think this actually kind of like falls right in line with the national holiday. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Eat, drink, and be giving. Yeah. I love this idea. And oh, this is the Great Tucson Beer Fest, yes. which is also going on this weekend. Beer sampling music contests. It's tomorrow night. I'm glad they moved it over to Kino Sports Complex lots because of room. more parking, which was not something we had over at High Corbett Field. So this thing has just grown and grown over the years. Tickets start at $30. Imagine that. You should be 21 years old in order to enjoy this. And, and it, if, if you're not like a big beer drinker, still go to this because you oh, will yeah. find a beer that you actually end up liking sure. by trying all of these. Because that's I'm not a huge beer drinker, but I go to the fest. I always find the one yeah. that I love. That's how uh, I learned to like wine. At the beer fest? No, at a wine fest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, at the beer fest? How'd that work you out? do that? I same thing, beer festival out. works the same way. Uh, and we have two events that are actually kind of correlated, but they're on two separate days. Yeah, I was really excited to find out today that it's the 40th annual Pride. The parade is tonight. So it takes place on 4th Avenue between 2nd and 9th, and then basically right in front of Sky Bar as the parade ends, you've got the big after party that's going on. And then it continues for the weekend. We've got Pride in the Desert, the Pride Festival for the LGBT community. It includes music, food, drinks, kids activities, and vendors, and they do that at Reed Park tomorrow. So that's noon to nine tomorrow. Tickets are $5 and of course they're gonna benefit TucsonPride.org. But I think that is so cool. It's been going on for 40 years. I know, and they're so happy to, to be back at Reed Park. They're, they were yeah. really happy for that change. Let's hit one more in Insect Festival. <laughs> I didn't know this was a thing. It is a thing. You know, like on CSI, right? The one oh, guy who's I can all about insects. bugs and insects and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's a great way to learn the science behind insects. So it's science literacy and increasing awareness about these insects and how important they are to our ecosystem. So this is Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the UA Environmental and Natural Resources 2 building, which is actually on East Fort Lowell. And it's free admission, so take the kids. We all love to play with that kind of stuff when we were kids. It's too bad we outgrew it.
Oh my God. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe, <laughs> maybe me, not so much, but the kids think that's totally cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They, they we'll will play in the dirt do and do all that. You know, it's when they bring it to you and they're showing it to you and they're like, what is this? And it's like, I don't even think you're supposed to be touching that. Get out of there. <laughs> and then you find out it's okay. And then it's at the festival. And this is how you know it's okay. They're going to teach you all about that. Exactly. That's why we have you here to tell us about wonderful <laughs> things. You guys also during the week, don't forget you can listen to 94.9 Mix FM every weekday morning. Catch Greg and Mrs. Grant on the morning mix. Learn more about it at mixfm.com. And as always, we'd be glad to mention your event next Friday. Just send us a message to our Facebook page with all of those details.